Good evening. Thank you, Toby, for that introduction. Uh, I'm actually doing my 10-minute experimental shaggy dog story tonight, so uh, no one-liners, sorry. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, so, uh, so it's nice to be here. Nice to be here, ladies and gentlemen. I've been to the garden centre today. Yeah, just spent a couple of hours standing in the middle of my garden. <laughs> so, so rising poverty, start of a new Cold War, five more years of Tory government. Does anyone else think this 80s revival's got a bit out of hand? <laughs> I was gutted with the election, it was terrible, wasn't it? I was gutted about Ed Balls not getting in because he's my favourite MP. Ed Balls, because I think it's brilliant that when he's in Spain, he's known as Senior Balls. <laughs> and of course, when he goes to Germany, he's Hairy Balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> biting political satire. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, we had the election. Yeah, I, got, I, started, I don't know about you guys, I started to get a bit annoyed before the election. Yeah, people telling me how to vote. Yeah, they made me a little cross. So, ladies and gentlemen, the man who invented the key to symbols on maps. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> on my way in here tonight into the venue, I saw a woman holding the hand of a small child. Yeah, so if you know a small child that's missing a hand, <laughs> I think I know who's got it. <laughs> so I failed a drugs test today. Yeah, scored an E. I get confused very easily, ladies and gentlemen. This confused me the other day. I don't know if you've ever seen these. I saw this book, 101 Places to Visit Before You Die. Yeah, it didn't suggest a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> this confused me the other day. I went to London. Right, this confused the hell out of me. Right, how come the National Portrait Gallery is actually wider than it is tall? This is, gonna, this is a question for you as well. Can you get acupuncture to cure pins and needles? <laughs> oh, is she, is she very anti-acupuncture, this lady? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I love the BBC's programmes about space and time. Yeah, I hope they continue them. <laughs> to the guy who pushed me out of the way of the baggage carousel at the airport, just remember, what goes around comes around. <laughs> Here's some advice for you, Lady Joe, and if you ever want to commit a crime, serious crime, yeah, dress as a handbag. Yeah, that way you can only be charged with being an accessory. <laughs> I used to live on a houseboat, Lady Joe, and for a little while I was seeing the girl next door. Yeah, but eventually we drifted apart. <laughs> now, if you offered me, if any of you here tonight offered me a million pounds to become a cannibal, I'd bite your hand off. My friends have just had their first child, yeah, eight pounds, three ounces. Yeah, stupid name for a baby, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, recently, though, Joe, and I've been trying to open the world's best pub for small people. Yeah, but I fear I may have set the bar too high. <laughs> Excellent. Of all the jokes, I didn't think that one was going to work. But, uh, <laughs> You're lovely. Here's some advice for you as well. If you're researching how, if you're going to research, right, how to rob a bank, yeah, take plenty of notes. <laughs> uh, speaking of crime, someone's been stealing all my bank documents. Yeah, the police didn't really help. They just sent someone round to take a statement. <laughs> so we had the London Marathon the other day. Did you watch the London Marathon? You, you, uh, I was asked, actually, this year, I was asked if I'd run the London Marathon for charity. Yeah, I'd say no. Yeah, mainly because I've no experience of organising an event that big. <laughs> <laughs> but I did think, right, if I ever run the London Marathon, I'd do it in fancy dress. And I'd do it dressed as a jacket potato. Because I think that's genius, right? Run all 26 and a bit miles dressed as a jacket potato. Because when I cross the finish line and they wrap me in tin foil... <laughs> Yeah, 
Here's a question for you. Do vibrators come with a list of dildos and dildons? <laughs> Shocking to think, isn't it? Shocking to think that every day, every day, an area the size of Wales remains Wales. <laughs> Here's the thing for you. If you ever bought, right, if you bought Jodrell Bank, right, you could do pretty much anything with it, wouldn't you? I mean, the scope is enormous. No, that's why I put a big X next to that one. <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing that one. Let's try this one. This, this one. <laughs> I like this one, but this is fucking convoluted. Um, I don't know if you know this, right? It's a little-known fact that the actor Shia LaBeouf, right, is one of three brothers, yeah? The other two being Shy and Shyest LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one as well. When I was manager of a boat shop, yeah, I lowered the ceiling. Yeah, sales immediately went through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Early this morning, I wondered where the sun had gone. Yeah, then it dawned on me. <laughs> when I was a kid, my parents gave me a teddy bear made from onions. Yeah, every night, I'd cry myself to sleep. My Geordie friend recently told me he was good at flirting. Yeah, but when I threw him in the swimming pool, he sank. <laughs> <laughs> jousting, jousting, jousting. Yeah. What people from Birmingham ask bees. <laughs> I got a pen stuck up my ass the other day. That's yeah, the last time I tried Bikram yoga. I used to be the DJ at Stonehenge, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, but I, I no longer mix in those circles. <laughs> Wanted to be a web designer as a kid, or as we called them, uh, a, a spider. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Completely fucked that up, but I still got away with it. How does that work? Here's a fact for you, ladies and gentlemen. I realised this the other day, right? If you rearrange the letters of postman, they get bloody annoyed. Ladies and gentlemen, am I disappointed that my voice-activated car isn't working properly? Uh, well, it goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> I did a gig recently in Saudi Arabia for minor royalty. Yeah, it was okay. No great shakes. To all those people who said I couldn't write a joke about Bukaki, ha, <laughs> in your face. <laughs> Too rude, that one. <laughs> so I got thrown out of a, a funeral today, yeah, for climbing on top of the coffin and pretending to surf. Yeah, apparently that's not wakeboarding. <laughs> hey, Jim, I'll tell you what really gets my back up. Portable hard drives. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Is the underneath is the underneath of an elephant, right? Its stomach or its chest? Yeah, it's a huge grey area. <laughs> Bought myself an expensive barge pole the other day. Yeah, well, thought I'd push the boat out. I've worked out, ladies and gentlemen, I've worked out that my new shadow puppet theatre uh, could make millions. Yeah, but that's just projected figures. <laughs> Everyone thinks, don't they? Everyone thinks that Catwoman is really sexy. But that's just because they've never seen her burying her shit in the garden. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you, I'll leave you on a couple of last, last things. Uh, I do get confused very easily, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get confused. This confused me the other day. Someone told me that 40 is the new 30. Yeah, but you try explaining that to a speed camera. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Went to the gym today, uh, the other day, found out that the word gymnasium, I don't know if you know this, the word gymnasium in ancient Greek meant naked exercise. Yeah, but you try explaining that to the receptionist at Fitness First. <laughs> 
and the police. They, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute delight. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. I've been Tony Cowards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tony Cowards, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and let's keep it ticking over. This, this next actor plays here at New Stuff a lot. He's uh, been a great supporter of this night. And he's going to unleash his stuff on you now. Stop your feet, clap your hands and give it up for Chris Tavner.